Hey guys, uh, welcome to DM's Craft. I'm DM Scotty. And I had a video today to honor Halloween. Uh, I thought it might be fun to do open graves uh, in a graveyard. Um, I have this coming up in my home game and I want to show you guys how I did it. So uh, let's go to the table and we'll start crafting. Here's my materials to start. I'm just using some sticks. Um, these are like match sticks without the uh, fire end on the, or the striker end on it. Um, just got these at a craft store. I'm using, I like to, I'm using these because they're flat on the edges. So th these will work better than like say a toothpick. It's rounded, it'll be just harder to glue together. You could also do uh, two tombstones. I'm doing a grave marker because what I'm doing is um, the graves were hastily dug and because uh, a lot of people were dying so I just wanted to do uh, wooden grave markers but you could easily do a tombstone but what I would do is I would use the thin cardboard not the thick not the regular uh, width but, but, but the thin cardboard and then you could put a little piece of cardstock on the top to cover the corrugation um, and just cut it to whatever size you want. But for my, my graves, I'm just going to use uh, some of these matchstick pieces of wood. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one and I'm going to cut it in half. Now, um, I'm not going to measure, I'm just going to eyeball it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab it like so and just cut it in half. So now i got two pieces uh, roughly the same size. Now I want to do the rest of the marker. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in thirds. So I'll hold it like I did before so it doesn't go flying. Okay, so now I've got three pieces and one. I'm going to get rid of the other one. I can use it for another grave marker. So I've got the three pieces, um, which I'm only going to need two for this one. Uh, and I've got the main shaft of the grave marker. Now what I'm going to do, my, my goal here was I, I decided that I'm going to make them like uh, grave markers of Pelor because that's the main religion in the town that it's in. So I thought I would do like kind of a uh, asterisk type symbol to represent the sun as opposed to, as opposed to a cross. So I'm going with the, uh, with the Pelor uh, symbol, so, which will represent the sun. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my white glue and I will put a little bit of glue on that. And then I'll take my first piece and I'll go like that. So now um, it looks like that. Okay? Kind of like a cross, but slanted. Uh, so now I'll put the other one on. So I'm just going to glue in the roughly the same place and then lay it the other way so it makes kind of an asterisk. And I'll try to show that to you. So there we go. There's my symbol. That's supposed to be my Pelor symbol. Uh, it's starting to come apart. So what I'll do is I'll let this dry. And then I'll have my grave marker. Now, um, if you're really doing this, um, you want to do a bunch of these at once. So just cut a bunch of them up at once and glue them all at once. Don't just do one. Because um, I, I need a lot of grave markers, so I was going to do a bunch. But that's just basically how I did the grave marker, and I'll just repeat the process for all the other grave markers. And uh, now we'll move on to the next step. Here's my uh, grave marker. Um, oops. There you go. You can see that. Now what I need is a base to stand it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the uh, Crayola air dry clay that I've used before and here it is and here's what the lid looks like so you can um, see that. Uh, I've used it on the stone faces, the same stuff. So I'm just going to get a clump of the clay. Yeah, you get a very big clump. So this is what I got. Just a ball. So now I'm going to kind of squish it down. Now this is a plastic table so I can do this on the table. If I was doing this um, I wouldn't want to do this on a wood table. So what you could use is an old cutting board or you could use the aluminum foil that I've used with the faces uh, before, but I'm just going to use the table. So now I will, I have a brush here, an old brush, and I use this for just this purpose. 
So I'm going to start jabbing the brush into the clay and that will give it a dirt, kind of a dirt texture. And then I'm happy with that. I'll just take my grave marker and back it in. Now these are going to be open graves so I might have this a little bent over. I'm going to squeeze it up a little bit and then add some more texture. So there we go, I have my grave marker and um, and it's all ready to go. So I'll let that dry and then I will um, we'll move to the next step. So here my grave marker is dried. Uh, you can see the base is all hard now. Uh, it's freestanding. What I want, what I want to do is I want to um, make some open graves for this graveyard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a piece of cardstock um, to uh, put the um, the grave on. So I'm going to put some uh, paper towel down because I'm, I'm going to make a bit of a mess. So I'll put the uh, cardstock down there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue um, with some white glue, just some Elmer's glue all. Uh, I'm going to glue the bait, the uh, stand here, the glue stand, or the uh, grave marker, to the cardboard. So now what I want to do is I want to make like an open grave. So I'm going to put some glue around the edge. Here. And then I'm going to make a ring. Use quite a bit of glue there. So what I'll do now is I have my ring. So now I'm going to um, get my construction sand and just pour it on there. Get that out of the way. So I just pour it on there. And that's why I got the paper towel, so we'll make a mess. Okay, so now I'll let that dry and then we'll move on to the next step. So I've let it dry, so here's the reveal. Okay, pretty cool, but I'd like the height to be a little higher. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my glue again, and I'm gonna put another layer on there. So I'll just start on top, in the center. Nice dab there, there we go. Now I will add some more construction sand. And there we go, that should give us a, a higher um, edge there where the grave is open. Here's our uh, grave, um, open grave, all the uh, all the glue is dried and it's solid now. But I have this excess um, cardboard, so I'll just cut that off. And I'm gonna use a, a pair of thick scissors um, for that. Get as close to the edge as you can. And get the excess sand off there. And uh, there we go. So now we have our uh, open grave marker. And uh, we'll base paint that black and uh, move on from there. So here I have it uh, base painted black. So now what I want to do is I want to uh, paint the, the open grave with a uh, dark brown. So I'm going to use a uh, burnt umber and uh, I'll get my brush. And I'm going to get it pretty wet. Get some of that uh, burnt umber. And just start applying it. Uh, grave marker and all. And you don't want it too wet so you can't see it. But you don't want it too thick uh, because it will be very hard to paint on the... Um, 
on the sand texture. So if it's, if it's liquidy, it, it absorbs into it a lot easier. All right. So there we have our uh, dark brown applied. We'll let that we'll let that dry, and then we'll start doing finishing up with the detail work. So here's my grave. Uh, the paint is dried. Um, I've got a tight shot in here, so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, so I'm going to use a. Uh, a uh, fairly wide brush and I want to do some a little bit of dry brushing to add some more uh, detail so I'm going to use a um, light uh, another light brown uh, people have asked about um, particular colors um, really there's no uh, color you have to use as long as you use a darker brown and then a lighter brown um, you can really use any kind any color brown so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the uh, ring um, with this lighter brown. And so it's going to kind of pop that out a little bit. Also I'm going to paint the um, the grave marker, but I'm going to paint that a different brown. I don't want to paint it the same brown, so I'm going to use this is like a golden brown that I'm going to use. I'm just going to use the same brush. Um, and I'm going to kind of turn this. Just kind of trying to gently, you don't want to be very heavy handed with this, very light handed. Just gives a little bit of definition. And uh, there we go. So that's what we got so far. Pretty nice looking. So another thing I'm going to do is I'll put my brush in the water. Uh, I want to make this look this hole look a little deeper. So I'm going to paint it with a black. So what I'll do is I will use a uh, I'm just going to use a thinner brush, and uh, I'll just uh, dip it. In, I'm going to get it a little bit wet, and then I'll dip it in my black. Which is off camera here, and then I'll just paint in the water. So that'll make that look like a hole, a deeper hole. Give kind of the illusion. So uh, that's what we got. Um, and now you could leave it there, but I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit and do one last thing to it. Okay, now I want to do one last detail um, with this uh, with the gra with the uh, construction sand. It has some bigger pieces and some smaller pieces. Well, I want to kind of accentuate those as like rocks. So what I'm going to do is use a, um, it's a pewter gray, and I'll just kind of, I don't want to hit the dirt too much, but I want to, I'm going to, I'm going to get some of those rocks. Try to keep it in your view here. So they kind of pop out a bit. And that just gives an interesting... difference to the soil and the rocks and like I say this isn't something you have to do this is just you know me taking it one more step okay so there we go see if we can see, if we can see that see the difference there um, now you can even go one more step which I'm gonna do um, and you can add some um, lighter gray, and this is called dolphin gray. And I'm just going to get a touch of that on my brush. I'm just going to use the same brush. 
And this stuff dries fairly quickly, so, especially when you're dry brushing, so you don't have to worry too much about it. And then I'll just barely tap some of those rocks. All right, so that gives them, makes them stand out a little more, and I'll show a uh, little close up there. All right, so now we are finished, and I'll, uh, I'll put a miniature out here to show you the scale. So here we go, here's our finished open grave, and I have a uh, old Mage Knight figure that I've repurposed for D&D. Uh, standing right next to it. I think it looks really great. Um, quick and cheap to make and a perfect time for Halloween. So you got you could have a Halloween adventure, uh, have uh, zombies uh, coming out of the graveyard. Um, you can even have chances of the players, if they're too close to the graves, like the, the edge slips and they uh, um, could fall into the grave hole. So. Um, uh, quick and easy uh, open grave to do to make 